Have you ever wondered about the mysteries of the ancient world? The echoes of civilizations long past, their stories etched in stone and buried beneath layers of earth and time. These are the lost cities, the vanished realms that beckon historians and archaeologists alike with their enigmatic allure. They are the silent witnesses of antiquity, their ruins whispering tales of grandeur and decay, of human ingenuity and the relentless march of time. They are places where history and legend intertwine, where fact meets fiction, and where every discovery peels back another layer of the past. They are the puzzle pieces of our shared heritage, waiting to be pieced together, to reveal a picture of bygone eras and forgotten peoples. The exploration of these lost cities is not just a journey into the past, it's also a journey into the depths of our collective memory. So let's embark on this historical odyssey together. Our journey begins with the city frozen in time, Pompeii. Imagine a bustling Roman city, suddenly silenced and frozen in time by one catastrophic event. This was the fate of Pompeii, a thriving city nestled in the shadow of Mount Vesuvius. In the year 79 AD, Vesuvius erupted with a force equivalent to many thousands of atomic bombs, burying Pompeii under a deep layer of ash and pumice. The city, its inhabitants and their way of life were entombed for centuries, hidden from the world. Fast forward to 1748. Almost 17 centuries later, explorers unearthed an archaeological treasure trove. The city of Pompeii emerged from its ashen shroud, remarkably preserved. The suddenness of the eruption had frozen the city in a moment of time, offering us an extraordinary glimpse into the everyday life of Romans. As we stroll down Pompeii's stone-paved streets, we can almost hear the echoes of Roman sandals. We can see the ruts left by chariot wheels, the vibrant frescoes adorning the walls of grand villas, and the humble abodes of its citizens. The city's amphitheater, bathhouses and marketplaces all speak volumes of Roman social and cultural life. One of the most poignant aspects of Pompeii's preservation is the casts of its unfortunate residents. These hollow spaces left by decomposed bodies were filled with plaster by archaeologists, revealing the final moments of those who perished. These haunting figures provide a deeply human connection to the past, a reminder of the lives abruptly ended by Vesuvius. Pompeii serves as a time capsule, a window to an ancient civilization. Its well-preserved structures and artifacts have provided invaluable insights into Roman architecture, politics, economy, and culture. This frozen city has allowed us to piece together a detailed picture of Roman life, from the grandeur of its public buildings, to the intimacy of its private homes. From the ash-covered streets of Pompeii, we now venture high into the Andes. As we leave behind the silent echoes of this Roman city, we carry with us a deeper understanding of a civilization that, though long gone, continues to intrigue and captivate us with its enduring legacy. Nestled high in the Andean peaks lies a city shrouded in mystery. This is Machu Picchu, the crowning glory of the Incan Empire, a civilization that once spanned much of South America. The city's construction, its purpose, and the reason for its abandonment remain enigmatic despite years of research and exploration. Machu Picchu was constructed in the 15th century, at the height of the Incan Empire's power. Despite the empire's vast territory and influence, they left no written records, leaving historians and archaeologists to piece together their story from the remnants they left behind. Machu Picchu, concealed by its lofty peaks and dense vegetation, remained undiscovered by the outside world for centuries. Then, in the early 20th century, an American historian named Hiram Bingham stumbled upon the city while on an expedition to find the lost city of Vilcabamba. His discovery of Machu Picchu was a revelation, offering the world a glimpse into the architectural prowess and advanced society of the Incas. The city is a marvel of engineering, designed with a profound understanding of the natural environment. It features terraced fields for agriculture, intricate stone structures, and an advanced water distribution system. All these bear testament to the Incans' advanced engineering skills and their deep reverence for nature. As for the purpose of Machu Picchu, theories abound. Some believe it was a royal retreat, a place for the Incan elite to escape the bustle of their capital, Cusco. Others propose it was a religious center, a sacred site for rituals and ceremonies. Yet others suggest it might have been a fortress, a strategic outpost on the fringes of the empire. Despite the many theories the truth remains elusive, the city was abandoned and reclaimed by the jungle, leaving behind only tantalizing clues about its past. The secrets of Machu Picchu continue to intrigue and bewitch us, 
a testament to the enduring allure of the unknown. Leaving the lofty heights of Machu Picchu, we plunge into the depths of myth and speculation. Join us as we continue our journey through the lost cities of the ancient world. Dive deep into the ocean of speculation as we ponder the existence of Atlantis. The tale of this lost city has tantalized the minds of philosophers, historians, and explorers for over 2,000 years. Its origins lie in the ancient texts of the Greek philosopher Plato. He described Atlantis as a sophisticated civilization that existed around 9,000 years before his own time, and ultimately fell out of favor with the gods, sinking into the sea in a single day and night of catastrophic earthquakes and floods. Plato's descriptions of Atlantis were incredibly detailed. He spoke of a city adorned with gold, silver and exotic metals, a land of abundance where elephants roamed and a naval power that sought to dominate the world. But was Plato recounting a true story or was he merely crafting a cautionary tale of hubris and divine retribution? In the quest to answer this question, countless theories have emerged over the centuries. Some suggest Atlantis was an embellished account of ancient Minoan civilization on the island of Crete, devastated by a volcanic eruption around 1600 BC. Others propose that it was located in the Caribbean, the Azores, or even Antarctica. Some even argue that Atlantis was not a physical place at all, but rather a metaphorical realm, a utopia, or a memory of a prehistoric golden age. Yet, despite the myriad of theories, no definitive archaeological evidence has ever been found to confirm the existence of Atlantis. This lack of evidence, however, has not dampened the human fascination with the lost city. If anything, it has only fueled our curiosity, turning Atlantis into a symbol of mystery and the unknown. In the end, the story of Atlantis serves as a powerful reminder of the enduring allure of ancient mysteries. It stands as a testament to our collective desire to explore, to understand, and to dream of lost worlds waiting to be rediscovered. From the ocean's depths, we ascend to the rose-red cliffs of Jordan. Carved into the heart of the desert, emerges a city of rose-red stone. Welcome, dear explorers, to Petra, a city that whispers tales of grandeur and allure from a world long past. Nestled amidst the rugged hills of Jordan, this ancient metropolis was once a thriving hub of trade, a beacon of prosperity that echoed through the corridors of time. It was the capital of the Nabataean Kingdom, a nomadic Arab tribe who transformed this arid wilderness into a bustling city of splendor around the 6th century BC. Petra's inhabitants, the Nabataeans, were not just skilled traders, but ingenious engineers. They etched their existence into the heart of the mountains, sculpting grand palaces, temples and tombs directly from the rose-red cliffs. Yet, their ingenuity didn't stop at architecture. They also devised a complex system of water channels and dams, a remarkable feat that allowed them to tame the desert and sustain their city. The city's most iconic monument, al Khazneh or the Treasury, is a testament to the Nabataeans' architectural prowess. This intricate facade, standing over 40 meters high, is renowned for its Hellenistic influence, hinting at the diverse cultural exchanges that took place within Petra's walls. Yet, for all its splendor, Petra was forgotten by the outside world for centuries. It was not until the early 19th century that a Swiss explorer disguised as an Arab sheikh rediscovered Petra, unveiling its secrets to the world once more. Today, Petra stands as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a window into the past that invites us to step into the shoes of the Nabataeans, to walk the streets they once walked, and marvel at the city they carved from the desert's heart. It is a silent testament to human resilience and ingenuity, a city that rose from the sands, etching its legacy into the annals of history. As we conclude our odyssey, remember that each lost city harbors a wealth of knowledge waiting to be uncovered. Petra, the rose-red city is no exception, whispering tales of a bygone era, inviting us to listen, to learn, and to remember. Our journey through these lost cities comes to an end, but the mysteries endure. We've traversed the frozen streets of Pompeii, uncovering the vibrant tapestry of ancient Roman life. We've scaled the mystical heights of Machu Picchu, marveling at the architectural prowess of the Incas. We've dived deep into the waters of speculation, pondering the existence of the fabled Atlantis. And we've journeyed through the rose-red city of Petra, exploring the secrets hidden within its intricate rock-cut architecture. Yet, as we stand at the crossroads of discovery and wonder, the allure of these vanished realms continues to beckon us. The echoes from the corridors of time invite us to delve deeper into the enigmas of our shared past. So join us in this ceaseless quest for understanding, 
Subscribe to Historical Odyssey for more captivating explorations into the wonders of our world's history. Until our next adventure keep exploring with Historical Odyssey.